Thanks for joining us on this Monday. I'm Joe Gell. And I'm Lindsay Lippman. When you think about who's responsible for transforming Waco over the last few years, a famous TV couple might come to mind. But their impact pales next to a small group of developers who have taken on the mission of using real estate to transform entire neighborhoods. 25 News reporter Dennis Turner will be exploring this topic throughout the day, but this morning he shows us the developer's centerpiece project and how its transformation helped improve perceptions while cutting crime. A couple of things make Waco's newest shopping center notable. First, local businesses occupy all 10 storefronts. Real estate broker Greg Gleim calls this project at Highway 6 and 84, diagonally across from Richland Mall, a labor of love. The group of developers that ultimately developed this site, we had been watching this property for years, I think two years before it came on the market. We kind of pinned it as a prospective property for us to keep our eyes on. I don't think we were able to buy it then, and then sure enough, it came for sale, and we snagged it up right away. Glime, developer Marshall Stuman, and others gave the existing building a makeover they call a game changer. Why? What makes this collection of upscale restaurants and shops so special? Well, it sits on the site of one of the most infamous nightclubs in Central Texas, a place where shootings were more common than good meals or gourmet donuts. Llegamos a Junction 84. You might remember it as Junction 84, Club Alazan, or Mr. B's. Waco police called it infamous, as they responded to no less than 34 disturbances, assaults, thefts, or robberies at the nightclub in 2017 and 18 alone. What changed? Waco started growing down Highway 84 and finally reached a critical mass to support businesses. We're starting to get enough businesses opening and operating along the 84 corridor and obviously Hewitt Drive. And so with that, we get sales numbers, and which all plays into the equation on development. So, I'm, uh, so the numbers added up. The numbers added up. Yeah, they did. So developers bought the troubled nightclub and used its makeover to change the neighborhood. Parking lots filled up now with people wanting to come here. I think a lot of people are excited to see this turn into something nice. The old nightclub now houses upscale shops, restaurants, stores, and a Pilates studio, among other businesses. The change here stopped the police calls and seems to have given this area a new optimism. It is very exciting to see a property go from what it was a year ago, the transformation, and now be in a place where we can show up with our kids and our wives and our friends and really make use out of 10 different retailers that are here that weren't here before. It marks a growing trend in real estate development, one that can have a positive impact on a community. More on that at midday. In Waco, Dennis Turner, 25 News.